What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, gonna... what's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife right here, I bring you guys great tips, tricks, and information that hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy and positive level. And if you're single, don't worry because you guys can get this information, store it, and utilize it for your future relationship, right? So, uh, you know, every week we're just talking about some cool stuff. Uh, we think it is. <laughs> Obviously, it's going to be hopefully valuable to you and something you can utilize and take with you and be able to, like I said, put it into the new relationship that you're going to be in or apply it to the relationship that you're already in. Yeah, always. All the topics we talk about, I think at some point you can apply it. Yeah, right? I mean, to a certain extent. It's all extent, valuable. Right? Yeah, it's all valuable. Everything we talk about is valuable. And, you know, this information that we get is not just something we just pull proof out of a, a random air. Um, you know, this is stuff that we've went through or we've seen people go through. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, just, you know, we want to give you guys the cheat codes, the shortcuts, so you don't have to go through so much trial and tribulation. Heartache. Yeah, right? And all those other speed bumps that come along with relationships and love and all that grand stuff. So this week, uh, you know, we were talking about some different topics. And, you know, one, one came to light because, listen, over the time that we've been together, we've seen a lot of couples come together and then dissipate and separate. So at that point, like, you know, the question is, is what makes somebody fall out of love, right? Because you have a lot of people that fall in love pretty quickly, mm -hmm. um, but what separates them? What, what makes them fall apart, basically, right? And I guess there's a lot of different things there's that we cover in this, yeah. right? Um, but, you know, it's just, you know, one thing for me, I, I guess, would say, like, you know, over time, people could grow apart. And whether this is because maybe somebody is working too much or, um, I don't know, just at that point, like, wanting to do things by themselves, maybe, without their partner. Um, I don't know. Maybe they think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. And at that point, they think that maybe I should go over there and leave this pasture behind. Um, you know, all these different things, you know, and there could be more, right? But at that point, you know, when we really start diving into this and I really start asking like some of my friends, like, hey, listen, what went wrong? You know, did you do something? Did she do something? And, you know, it's been a wide variety of different answers from no, like they cheated on me and like, I can't be That's in this a relationship hot topic. no more. That's a hot topic. Right? And yeah. then there's a lot of people out there that are doing these things because it's easier than ever to cheat. You know, you have different apps where you swipe and left, swipe and right. You meeting know, in parking lots or whatever you guys rendezvous, are doing Rendezvous, wherever the, you're going to rendezvous at <laughs> with these, these strangers or, or new people. Weird. Um, and at that point, like that is one thing that really drives a lot of couples to break up. And then you have different things like financial situations. That, I mean, that was a big one for my parents. I mean, right. that, that, I mean, I made sure that whatever took place with me and John, that that was going to be like a, a thing that I did not fight about because that's all my parents fought about. You know, and it's, it's really easy to fight about something like this um, because maybe one partner thinks that they're doing more than the other as far as I'm the breadwinner and you're not. And, you know, I'm going to spend the money how I want to spend it. Or you have the other partner, like, I'll spend it on whatever I want to spend it on. And then at that point, you guys are, like, not on the same page. Or your, or your partner spends money on something and doesn't tell you about it. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty big one. And then you find out about it and you're like, why didn't you tell me? Like, it could be something, you know, let's say you, you they lend money to their brother or lend money to a friend or whatever it is. That's usually a hot ticket item. Yeah. Um, it's not usually good them going into a store and buying a pair of shoes. At least they have something tangible. But when the money is gone and you're like, okay, where was this? And why don't we have it for this? Or why don't I have it for that? Um, and they're like, oh, well, so-and-so needed this. So I got, and you're like, wait a minute. Well, why didn't you run that past me? Or like, why don't I know about that? Yeah. That blows up very quickly. Yeah. And you can't like take it back. Yeah, no, you, you can't take it back. And like, I've literally seen some of these different things in my parents' relationship as I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I remember literally, oh like, and, you know, it's not like it is now. Like, back in the day, if you wrote a check for something, boom. <laughs> you right? know you about it for a while. 
you get a credit card statement every month. You didn't get to see real time online what was taken out of your bank account, what was charged, or anything like that. And you know, I'm throwing my money with the bus, but <laughs> she did this a couple of times to my dad. Where you know she went out, she bought a boat. A boat. Right? I mean, she didn't buy shoes. Yeah. She didn't go and yeah. buy a couple items. A new items, purse. A, new no, 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 a like Louis, Louis Vuitton purse. Um, she went and bought a boat. Yeah. She, you know, she went and bought a boat. You know, <laughs> and there's a couple other things that she bought in the past: cars and stuff like that. Would not <laughs> tell my dad, right? And I specifically, you know, on the boat thing, I did tell my dad because I knew about it. I felt you know bad and I didn't want to betray my mom, but. This is something that I thought my dad should know about. Oh boy! Uh, and I did tell my dad, "Hey, listen, you don't want to check the checkbook because <laughs> you know this did happen." You know, and, and God bless. You know, it, it didn't put us in the poorhouse or anything like that. So it wasn't like something like, "Oh, like was it the boat or was it food or paying the rent?" It wasn't like that. So no. God bless about it. But it's something that you know you're holding back from your partner, and this is something that should be a decision by both of you guys. If you guys are having shared bank accounts and such, that at least you let them know, "Hey, listen, I'm going to go out and do this." Whether you like it or not, but at least I'm letting you know, right? Mm -hmm. Something on that along those lines, or you know, ask them, like, hey, listen, do you think it's a good idea? Even if they don't think it is, you know, maybe they should support you on buying it if you guys can afford it. And you guys are hanging your hat where you can't reach. Right. Uh, you know, that's the other big thing, yeah. right? Because a lot of people do that. You know, a lot of people are credit card based. There's more credit card debt than ever right now. It's the highest that people have ever had it, and that's because people are using their credit card. And it's easy to use a credit card or write a check because it's not money coming out of your pocket. Right. You, know? you don't feel it. You don't see it at that point. It's real simple and easy. So like invisible money and then when that credit card statement comes it it just back in the face <laughs> bam reality, right in the gut right? I, I know this um so this is this is another way where i think couples really get Bro. a lot of trouble and at that point this can put a lot of damage to a relationship and make relationships break up and then when you go through the breakup process if you're married then you're splitting your items and you're going through a whole nother fight right there okay so that's that's another big one for me um that i've seen um i mean it, it, i mean at the end of the day you have like your you have your bullets, right? So like people fall out of love because they get interested in doing different things. Like, you know, luckily me and John, you know, we love each other to the core. So at the end of the day, we would do anything for each other. I'm sure I'm speaking on his behalf too. But, you know, not everybody is built on that true love at the very beginning, right? So if you don't have that like like true love, like soul, like down to the very core soul of the person, mm -hmm. you may not try as hard to fight, kick and scream for your relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what ultimately leads to people, you know, falling off the beating path, you know, whether it's sexually, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes people go apart sexually, you know, and they're not, you know, doing their duties per se. You know, now, now, now you're not having, you know, whatever fun time for two, three months at a time, which is super not normal, just so you guys know that. Mm -hmm. Not normal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it can be communication where you're not communicating with each other. Like, and let's say one partner is feeling disrespected or is feeling like maybe you're belittling them or that you're, you're treating them some type of way. Unless you voice that, then all that happens is over a period of time, that person just builds up resentment for you. And then it just builds and builds and builds and builds. And sometimes the resentment itself makes the relationship. The yeah, yeah, it does. It causes the riff. Yeah. So it's like, you know, these are the things that you need to just keep intact and communication. We bring it up in every single episode. But being able to talk to each other about, hey, listen, you know, this is bothering me. Or, hey, I want to go do this. Um, I want to experience that. You know, like when, you, when you're with somebody for so long, like me and John, like we've been together for 16 years, right? You start getting to a point where like, okay, we've had all these fun things happen. We've went on dates. We've went to movies. We've done this. And you're like, all right, cool. Like, all right, we're going to get old together, right? So like, what are we going to do? Like, I want to do something with you fun, you know? Like, or I want to, it could be anything. It could be going to, to Germany or it could be having a baby or it could be, who knows? It could, I mean, me and John go on many journeys here. So, you know, things change and, we, you know, as long as when things change, you guys are communicating your changes with each other and then adapting to the change together. Mm -hmm. That I think is the true key because people change over years, right? And you know, goals sometimes even change over years mm -hmm. and people's, what they wanna do with their life changes over years. So if you are at least communicating with you know, the individual that you're with mm -hmm. and letting them know like, hey, this is what I'm thinking or this is what I wanna do, at least you know, your significant other knows that you guys are on the same page. Because if you don't, if you don't let them know, like this is what I'm thinking, or this is what I want to do, or you know, this has changed from ten years ago, then how are you guys supposed to meet each other at the halfway point? The halfway point is the key. Yeah. 
got to meet each other at the halfway point. It's not all about him. It's definitely not all about me. You know, it's mostly about our kid. But I mean, at the end of the day, you got to meet each other at the halfway point. I think being on the same page. So that, that's almost meeting each other at the halfway point, but being on the same page about what you want to do, what your goals are, what you guys are trying to achieve, you know, what, really what makes you happy. Um, at that point, if, if you can get on the same page and you can be there with your partner, you're going to have a very successful relationship. And obviously, you want to be there and support your partner sexually, emotionally, physically, all the way around. Um, and if you're missing some of these parts, then it could cause maybe a little bit of damage with your partner um, because you're not there fully for them, right? And that's what you should be. You know, you're two people in a relationship, but in that relationship, you're one entity, mm -hmm. right? You're working together, not against each other. So at that point, that's what it's really about. Listen, this is happening to people every day falling out of relationships, and you don't want that to happen to your relationship, whether you're in it now or you're going to be in a future one. So set yourself up for success. Know these things in the beginning and be able to implement these things right off the bat. And if you can be f like straight up and forward with your, your, your new relationship partner right away and tell them these things, I think you guys will have a great start. Mm -hmm. If you guys are in a relationship and maybe listen to things that went south and stuff like that, it, it's not over until it's over. So at that point, give 110% to really get on the same page, to get with your partner and maybe mend some things that have not been going so well and focus on the things that have been going well and create that relationship to grow back stronger like an oak tree. Yeah. Right? Like an oak tree. Like an oak tree. So that's it for this week's Cupid's Corner. You guys can catch us every week on ABC at 11 a.m. Um, for the Type Medical Cellar Health and Lifestyle Show. And at that point, listen, if you guys don't can't watch it live, <laughs> DVR it. Or you guys can watch on YouTube or any other social media platforms. So uh, we're here for you guys. We're going to be continuing these great tips, tricks, and information for you guys. So stay tuned for another Cupid's Corner next Sunday at 11 a.m. See you then.